Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you a very interesting game between Abdus Satoru and Bert St. Thomas. Abdus Satoru just finished his Qatar Masters and now he's playing uh, Bundesliga in Germany. Germany. So let's quickly jump into the game. Abdus Satoru, he was white, he started with e4. We have Sicilian defense, now knight f3 is the main move, also knights to c3 is close to Sicilian and here e6 is very interesting variation actually after this move this is called french variation of sicilian but now d4 to um, pressure the center cd knight takes and here a6 move is a con variation but uh, black opted for knight to c6 which is actually time anno. so knight c3 was played yes also in, in this position instead knight to c6 we also have knight f6 option now knight c3 and here the main move in Taimano is this queen to c7 but now knight to f6 is played and here the main move is to go like bishop to b5 d6 bishop to f4 to pressure this pawn e5 and now bishop to g5 but actually in this position Abdus Satoru opted for not so common line he goes with a little bit quiet bishop to e2 now bishop to b4 and yes and as you can see white has some problems with taking here and taking the pawn so how would you re react in this position let's consider some options if we play f3 this is not a good move because now after d5 ed knight d knight c6 bc6 bishop d2 castle castle and in this position actually black is slightly better as you can see black has very strong pawn and also white king is a little bit weak his bishops are uncoordinated this knight is bad and at least black can double these pawns here but what to do bishop f3 is also not that good just d6 or castle so if you don't know this opening you'll be quite surprised because here castling is the main move and giving up this pawn so now bc3 bc3 and yes black is a pawn up but uh, white has some initiative but also see this pawn is also hanging now here we can play bishop to be d3 but now uh, white took the knight on c6 bc6 here we can uh, play bishop to d3 and actually in this position the best move is to play knight c5 which actually happened in the game a question shouldn't we take here on c3 but now we have queen h5 or queen g4 so pressure here castle bishop h6 wanted to checkmate uh, black king queen f6 but now bishop g5 is very strong now queen to e5 and after rook a to e1 um, black has to be really careful because if we play uh, queen to c5 that will be a horrible brander because queen h4 we threaten a checkmate and after h6 now we pick, uh, we pick a queen or a rook rook a8 and yes we can take a queen so let's go back so actually in this position uh, black has to find this incredible f5 just giving up a queen but they are also attacking white's queen so queen h4 and queen to c7 and position is equal so very nice line so we shouldn't take here so knight c5 was cool, uh, okay but now anyway queen g4 is also strong keeping pressure here what to do queen f6 as you can see in previous line bishop to g5 uh, is a team here now queen takes a pawn and here up to satoro played uh, queen to g3 actually you can play rook a to d1 but queen to g3 is also playable knight takes bishop and yes in this position we have to be again very careful and we have to know uh, a theory so we shouldn't take like this because after f6 we should be three and castle and black will consolidate if we play bishop uh, to h6 now just rook to f7 and uh, black is okay so rook a to d1 is the best move of course if uh, uh, black knights move then this is a checkmate so there's a huge threat 
So queen to c5 was played, but now we pick up a rook. And after this f6, Abdusatoro finds another brilliant move, rook f to d1. Uh, so what's the point of this? Shouldn't we take a, a bishop here? No, we can't, because the, uh, rook to d8, king f7 and rook is lost. Also king is very weak and uh, white is winning. So actually in this position, the best move is just to castle. But now Abdusatoro played bishop to h6, threatening checkmate, queen e7 only move. And here again, very nice move and brilliant move by Abdusatoro, a rook to d8. Such a brilliancy. So what happens if we take a rook? The first question takes, check, takes, and this is incredible checkmate on g7. So let's go back. So what to do here in this position? Actually, computer suggests that b5 is the only move that it's good here. But c5 is actually a blunder. So why is this a blunder? Because you will see in this next brilliant, brilliant move I have to throw. And the only move is this h4. Such a brilliant move. Uh, the idea of this is to play h5 and restrict uh, blacks, kings, escape squares. Um, let's, for instance, instead of h4, if white does something random move like a3, now c4, h4, e5, and white, as you will see in the later in the game, white wouldn't have this queen to be 3 check. So h4, now b5 was played. Um, also, here in this position, c4 isn't working because h5, king h8, of course, okay, king h8 loses because we have this check, check and this incredible rook d8 theme, as we, as you see, sorry. So, yeah. Um, but after this, p5, h5 was played anyway. Now, e5. And now the team, bishop takes, queen takes, rook f8, king takes, and knight, uh, rook enters here on d8, king f7, and this queen to uh, b3 is very strong. King f7 is played. Okay, let's consider this, c4, but now we can take here, and we have this kind of pressure. So king has to go to e8, e7, sorry, queen d5. But now, yeah, white is a uh, whole piece down. But look at this king and look at coordination between uh, queen and the rook. Queen h6 was tried. Queen d6 check. King f7. And another brilliant move in this position by Abdusatoro. f4. Shutting down all possible checks or perpetuals here on the c1 and uh, f4 square. So let's consider a few options in the game. Pawn took, took the f4, but if queen takes, now this is a problem, queen f8, king e6, rook d6, king f5, rook takes, f6, king g4, and we can pick up a queen. But in the game, pawn take on f4, queen to c7, check, king e6, queen to c6, king f5, and here, Abdusatoro didn't uh, try to pick up a rook on a8. It wasn't necessary. He has stronger moves. Queen to d5. King g4. A rook g4 check. And here, actually, the best move is funny. This queen to g5. But of course, this just loses queen. So king to h4. And can you spot a mate here? Uh, uh, you can pause the video and try to figure out a mate in 6 here. Yeah, the checkmate is g3, simple as that, and after king to h3, queen to g2 was checkmate, so okay, this was shorter uh, checkmate, that happened in the game, but let's consider longer checkmate, yeah, here uh, fg3 can be played, but now we, we have this queen e4, king takes a pawn, queen h1, bishop h3, and queen takes h3 is a checkmate. So beautiful, beautiful game played at Bundesliga. 
And guys, thank you for watching this video as always. And please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.